This example on your dollar will show you how a nested fractal sequence works. The idea is that uh, we will start using a lower time frame sequence than the one that we are using on our trading plan in order to continue trading in the di opposite direction that our trading sequence is saying. So this nested fractal sequences are used for counter trend it will help us a lot remember that we need to have the right price action to the left compression and all that so we'll take a look at that so euro dollar let's take a look at it and we'll learn how to use these sequences nested sequences okay we've got here euro dollar over here we've got this area here of demand okay in control right there and uh We've got uh, the uh, ascending trend line broken. The descent trend line is also after three CPs is broken. Okay, so monthly is out of alignment. Okay, so monthly is out of alignment. So we can start taking quarter trend longs, but when or how do we can we start using quarter trend longs? So if we are using a sequence, okay, a sequence like uh, let's say. Here we've got the monthly, weekly, daily sequence for our trading. Then what we can do is we, we can start using another, let me use this. Instead of this, I'm going to start using a label. It's better. Okay, a label so we can stay there. So, okay, we start, we have this sequence. So the uh, top one. Time frame is out of alignment, so uh, it's telling us that okay, we've got bearish and coffee pattern. We have to go short, but now we can allow, we can take quarter trend longs if we have the necessary and needed uh, patterns to the left. I mean, and the new levels of opposing areas of supply, even the higher time frame area of the mining control, which is here, and all that tested, but still pushing higher. And then we start seeing bullish and coffin patterns. We start seeing also piercing patterns, as we can see here. So it is time maybe to switch to a lower time frame sequence. And that lower time frame sequence could be something like, okay, instead of monthly weekly, we could use weekly, daily, H4. Okay, so now we go to the weekly area and we see that this is a weekly area of supply. So once we start getting these areas being moved, here we would have an area, an ascending trail line, okay? And we could start taking longs all there, over there on the way up. Uh, but we wanted, I wanted to cover the latest scenario, okay? So we know that we have this area taken out. Uh, we've got a bullish and coffee pattern here. We've got a big rallying price removing this area of supply. Okay, that remove. Okay, that this area of demand that remove this area of supply. So this area here, over here. Okay, removed. This area over here. So this area has been removed. So this is supply. Okay, so. Once these areas of supply is removed, we could say we can start. We've got another trend on the weekly, on a, on a lower time frame sequence. We can drill down the sequence from this one to this one, okay, to start taking good trends. Or even if you are doing more intraday, okay, daily H4, H1, okay. So once we've got one area of supply taken out and we've got uh, two valleys so two valleys plus trail line equals uptrend okay so here we've got the uptrend on the weekly okay after removing this area so let's switch now to the daily on the daily we've got an uptrend here Okay, after removing this is the, all this area here is the weekly area of supply tested and all and then it, it breaks so let's use the v key vertical line sorry the ver the vertical line for drawing here a level a uh, line so uh we know what happened there okay so right there is when the weekly area of supply is taken out 
So I'll use the, I will unpause the chart, move the triangle here, and see what happened there. I will switch to four hour. So on the four hour, this is what we got. Okay, we've got this is the area that took out an opposing area of supply on the weekly. So this is a stronger level than a normal. Uh, area of demand on the four hour because this one area was created after the pause after the sorry I had to pause the video so this four hour area was created right after the break of the opposing uh, weekly area of supply here okay so opposing area of supply taken out so you can start taking longs okay this one also and then what happened is that at the top we know about this a weekly area of supply was hit so no more no more <clears throat> sorry no more longs were allowed and we could take the short and many of us took okay so remember that we are in a ranging scenario on the monthly so the monthly is out of alignment so we can go long and short depending on what's going on in the market so our strongest drop in price is here on the weekly it was taken out and now we've got another one which is very strong so we take that one in a ranging scenario we take short at the top of range and longs at the bottom of the range but this also here on the weekly is a monthly while wow, short here okay so what i wanted to say here once we switch to the weekly we weekly is out of alignment and not only now out of alignment we've got weekly area of supply taken out then then if we are trading the sequence here monthly week daily we remove the monthly and we add the h4 here which is here okay so now we've we have drilled drilled our sequence down to one time frame lower than the one out of alignment we can do we can go even lower like this okay i don't go that low but you can do that if you're doing more intraday trading so we've got a weekly area of demand that caused the removal of this area so price reaches us at that area and we have this area of demand okay which is nested within this weekly area of demand there okay so this is a trade i didn't take that trade okay um this uh nested fractal sequences is something that uh i've had in mind for some time but it looks like it's making sense to use a lower time frame sequence in order to take content trading when the market is telling us to do it uh, so here we've got this is an, an area of supply because it didn't take out this area so price could rally all the way up okay uh, it did that after a four hour short here four hour short so this is an example of using one sec sorry of using the uh how to drill down the uh, sequence from a week, monthly, weekly, daily to a weekly, daily for our fractal sequence for counter trend trading or trading in a range. Okay, so that's this is an example. Hope that it makes sense. Thanks a lot.